What's going on all you wild camp counselors? Logan Myers back here for Cinefells.com doing more 31 Days of Horror. Tonight I'm going to be doing something a little different, not reviewing any flicks, but doing an unboxing video. One of these I haven't done in a long time. Picked up a lot of movies the past six months during the pandemic. Lots of Scream Factory, lots of 4K Steelbooks. Haven't got around to doing an unboxing video, but today I'm doing something special. Something I ordered a few months back. A lot of people in the horror movie community are really excited for this. And I'm talking about the Scream Factory Friday the 13th box set. <laughs> So over the past five years, I've reviewed the first four Friday the 13th movies, and it's slowly becoming my favorite horror franchise. What? Yes, I said that correctly. I have an absolute blast rewatching these movies. They're so cheesy. They're cliche slasher flicks, but they're a great time. A lot of great memorable kill scenes. And of course, old Uncle Jason Voorhees doing what he does best, killing all the horny stone teenagers. So today, I want to get into the Scream Factories. Friday the 13th box set that I just received at my doorstep and really excited. It's in a huge box, so let's get to it, shall we? So this is what it looks like inside, and holy shit, is that awesome. Totally awesome. This is what we got, the box set, and of course the lithograph posters that came with this. Well worth the price on Scream Factory, the best in the business with restoring classic horror movies and B-movies. Shout out to you guys, we love you very much here at Cinefellas. So here it is, let's get to it, shall we? So this is what it looks like, the box that I just pulled out of the box, but that's the side. Of course you got Jason. The all different versions of Jason. You got the newer one here in the remake. And here's the front. That is absolutely fucking beautiful. I love the artwork. Can't wait to hang the poster that comes with this as well. But all my favorite versions of Jason, part two through four and five are all my favorites. That's really awesome. I wish I would've got the Halloween box set. So you got the side here. Uh, it's loaded with killer special features, a bunch of features on this 60 page booklet, new scans, Jason goes to hell the final Friday, unrated version, 4K scans of the first movie, one, two, three, and the final chapter, my favorite one. A little Tommy Jarvis played by Corey Feldman. Awesome. So let's look inside of this, even though it's kind of right there for you. Friday the 13th. One of the greatest franchise ever. Take the old Scream Factory contraceptive off. Man, they're extra wild there. Double the plastic, double the fun. Take that little plastic off. So you got the the side here, piece of paper with all the features and what's going on in the box set. I'm not going to take out all of these. There you go. There's the top. The side. More Jason. More fun. Let me take this piece of paper off. I don't want to ruin the box set because this is my pride and joy right now. And then old Uncle Jason from part two, one of the better ones too. Amy Steele in that movie. I love her. One of my favorite uh, final girls for sure. Um, then in here, you have all the movies. Jason goes to Manhattan for like 10 minutes. It's usually it's really on a boat the whole time. How fantastic is that? It's a footage that we haven't seen. And I remember when this movie came out, Jason goes to hell. It was so cheesy. I remember watching VHS at a friend's house. They're like, what the fuck? This movie's weird. And we have the unrated and theatrical versions of Jason Goes to Hell. So I'm interested in checking this out. Maybe I'll review it this month for 31 Days of Horror. And obviously you have all the original posters, one of the best ever. It's kind of a little fold in there. It's kind of shitty. Part two. Part three in 3D, one of my favorites. The old 3D glasses you had to wear back in the day. And part four, my favorite, final chapter, Friday the 13th remake. Freddy vs. Jason, we just talked about this on the podcast. Love this movie, it was so fun. Jason X, probably the worst one. Up in space, terrible. New Blood. Kill or be killed, Friday the 13th. Jason lives. If Jason still haunts you, you're not alone. Friday the 13th, a new beginning. Woohoo! And then you have the Friday the 13th bonus material. Bonus features, all that fun stuff. And then the booklet. Right here. Friday the 13th.
where it all started. It's got pictures from the movies. And talking about, you know, them making these films as well, the actors, directors, all that fun stuff. So this is absolutely awesome about all the movies. Something you add to your collection, especially horror fans like, like us. Hopefully they'll do this for all the franchises. Another Halloween one, I'm hoping with the new films. Nightmare on Elm Street. Scream, I guess. Texas Chainsaw. All those. I would love to collect all these, but this is absolutely beautiful. almost forgot the poster. I almost forgot the posters that came with this lithograph. And uh, let's take a look at those. How about that? Oh, they're beautiful. I know I'm going to be hanging it right here in Cinefello Studios. More horror movie posters. You guys can see that. How awesome is that? I don't want to bend it or mess it up in any way, but I will be framing this definitely and put it in the Cinefell Studios with the 40 other posters I have. And the really important poster, the movie that started it all, 40th anniversary. It's actually playing in theaters right now in October. Check your local cinemas. They are playing this. I would love to see this in the big screen, so I have to Go to my local movie theater and check it out. But you got the mom back here, you know, obviously Jason, young Jason pulling down uh, the chick from the first movie, Alice. All the trees in New Jersey, all the bodies everywhere. I think this is really fantastic, really well done. I can't wait to hang this up. Just really great quality poster, great artwork. Love it so much. Good job, Scream Factory. All right, well, that about does it for this month's October unboxing for 31 Days of Horror. Really excited to finally get the Friday the 13th movies all of them i have a few of them but not all of them and in a box set some 4k restore special features um and i just really can't wait to dive into the movies i haven't reviewed yet five and up there's no other franchise that i'd rather watch during the halloween season the friday the 13th and halloween so i'm going to be binging these enjoying the month of october and hopefully you guys are all doing the same and staying safe kicking back relaxing at home watching some horror flicks eating some candy having some drinks and enjoying life because that's really all we can do right now with everything going on. So if you guys had a good time with this unboxing, if you guys haven't picked this up yet, again, go over to Scream Factory, check it out, order your copy of the box set, and you won't regret it. This is something you absolutely must add to your home collection if you're a huge horror movie fan like myself and the Cinefellas. This is Logan Meyer signing out from Camp Crystal Lake until the next horror video for 31 Days of Horror.